Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on um, Luna Matthews Monster High doll and making her into Marge Simpson from The Simpsons. I'll be showing you a little bit about how I did the hair and made it to the height that it is, and also a little bit of body modification, and then the face up. So here I'm working on making a base so the rest of the hair can be curled and, up and matted up around the base into the Marge Simpson style. And how I'm doing that is I'm using this felting tool. And what this is is a bunch of needles that are that have like little hooks in them so that when you press against this brush, the needles come out and just kind of pull the hair back through just to get it kind of teased but at a very tiny level. So it really mats it up and if I kept going it would make it kind of into a piece of felt. And so I'm kind of new to you, to felting. I've done it a few other times. I've made some dreadlocks for like my Michonne doll. But I haven't done much with it. So, um, But it was working very well to pull the yarn together and it made a really good base. And then when I was finished I curled the rest of the hair and then I uh, used the felting tool to push it into the base. So Luna Matthews has a bunch of little ridges on her arms and waist and neck and so I used a Dremel to sand those down and then a uh, sand, sanding block to get the that smoothed out even more and then some very fine grit sandpaper to get that smooth finish back after I was done sanding down all of the bits. So onto the face up, I washed her with soap and water and then gave her four coats of Mr. Super Clear before starting. One thing I wanted to mention is that Marge Simpson had a, has a, in the cartoon, you can kind of see how her eyes are really big and almost touch the hairline. So I rooted the hair a little bit lower on Luna than I would have normally. So that her eyes were a little bit higher closer to her hairline. So I decided to do Marge uh, in a style that's, you know, my style, but also trying to pull out some of the characteristics of Marge Simpson. So I wanted to give her big round eyes, and I wanted to do something fun with her lips to make it kind of reminiscent of the, the look of the Simpsons characters, where they don't really have a lip but they have like a sort of a big upper lip and no bottom lip <laughs> sort of look so I kind of carried that out into the character I'm using some darker yellow tones to give some contouring and shading to make the skin tone closer to a Simpsons color And I'm leaving some spaces just where I would normally want the highlights of the, of the doll. I'm using soft pastels or pan pastels in a like a golden tone. And so here I'm doing the lips. I wanted to give her a full upper lip and kind of blend out on the bottom lip so that it almost looked like she didn't have a bottom lip and I think it turned out pretty well. I'm using the custom mix of pan pastel in like a peach, peachy pink color. I pulled out the lines of the mouth a little bit further than the mold to sort of reflect the smile of Marge. Giving her a little bit of blush with my eyeshadow brush and the custom mix of pan pastel in the same color as the lips. Since Marge has blue hair, in the cartoon she doesn't have eyebrows, but I decided to give her some. I'm 
I'm using a Derwent watercolor pencil and a Spectrum Blue, I believe. And so in one of the cartoons or one of the episodes, it said that Marge had hazel eyes. <laughs> so in the cartoon, of course, it's just a black dot, but I decided to give her hazel eyes. So this doll I created for the collection that I was making for the Mad Monster Party in February. So she is available for purchase at the time I'm recording this video. So if you would like to check out my Etsy shop in the link below, the dolls that are remaining from that collection are available there. I'm not sure why I chose Marge other than I just always loved The Simpsons and I love the character and I just have had this in my mind for a long time and I thought it would be fun. So I'm really happy with how she turned out. She's very, very fun to look at. So along with the hazel eyes, I decided to give her sort of a light colored pupil. giving a little bit of detail to the iris. So just doing a little bit of detail work. The more detail that I add, the better it seems to look. A little bit of shading and detailing with some black just to make them pop a little bit more. And there, I like I said, I carried out the mouth a little bit further just to kind of look like the Marge Simpson smile. And like I was saying, when I, when I was finished, I pulled the hair up over the, well, I, I curled it using the method of uh, heating up a chopstick and then wrapping the hair around the chopstick. And then I pulled it up over the dome that I created with the felting and then used the felting tool to sort of push it into the top, into the hair. It was um, very experimental at the time and though it turned out pretty good in my opinion. Um, it was, though it was, since it was so experimental, I didn't want to record it, so I apologize for not showing that part, but it worked out pretty well. So once I was finished with her, I glossed up her eyes with some Liquitex High Gloss Varnish. Uh, oh, that was after giving her about four coats of Mr. Super Clear. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Like I said, check out my links below, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!